Welcome to episode 105 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly. I've been waiting for this episode for a long time. This week, we're going to do the leadership episode. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. Okay, moment of clarity this week is um, if you do what you always done, you get what you always got. Said it before, I'll say it again. You can listen to this podcast and read all the content you want, read all the articles you want. But if you don't really change anything and do anything differently, guess what? You're going to have the same exact Outcome. So if you look at all the areas of your life where you're dissatisfied, where you're unhappy, where you feel like you're not getting results, guess what? I'm pretty certain that you're doing a lot of the same things that got you in that place in the first in the first place. So moment of clarity. If you keep doing what you've always done, don't be surprised because you're going to keep getting what you've always got. That's the moment of clarity for today. I'm so excited for what he's going to show me. Hurry up and show me Paul's pick. Look, I don't think this is going to be a big surprise to any of you. My pick for this week is the movie Saving Private Ryan. I'm going to refer to it throughout this podcast on leadership. I think it is just a great example of real life leadership. Uh, really amazing to watch. So if you haven't ever seen it, please do yourself a favor. Go watch Saving Private Ryan. And if you've already seen it, you're going to want to watch it again after this show. If you can't tell, I'm excited about the leadership episode. I mean, there's been more written about leadership. I mean, I, I haven't done the research to benchmark like in comparison to other things, but it really is pretty exhaustive. Um, actually, I think it's inexhaustible. So even though there's been a lot done, I don't think we'll ever get to the bottom of the topic of leadership because it is an ever-evolving, ever-changing, fluid, dynamic concept. No two people lead the same way. No two people are led the same way, which makes it incredibly difficult to master. It's tough, right? Of course, that's why we talk about it. That's why we read about it. That's why we learn about it. And I'm speaking today to the people who desire to be better leaders it's been my experience in business uh, throughout a lot of industries, the car business, retail, uh, B2B, politics. A lot of people are just striving and desiring to be better leaders. So this is an episode for those people. So let's start with the definition of leadership. I, I just, you know, obviously had to look it up. It's the action of leading a group of people or an organization. So um, I really want to talk about four sections today. I kind of broke down uh, my thoughts on leadership, again, not exhaustive, but into four sections that I think we can think about and apply in a relatively short period of time. And I think you'll be able to implement portions of these in your everyday life. So they all start with a great leader, like a great leader does this. Okay, first one, a great leader defines and aligns. A great leader defines and aligns. We're going to go back to these two. Number two, a great leader listens. Number three, a great leader serves. And finally, a great leader is a source of courage. So let's go to the first one. A great leader defines and aligns. I think this is so monumentally fundamental to any great leader. A leader's job is to move people, a group of people, in a singular direction. And I think people moving in a singular aligned direction will never, ever, 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 ever happen organically. Groups of people migrate towards chaos, towards selfishness, toward um, self-interest because the survival mechanism, ego, all of these things. So a group of people never organically begin to do the same thing. What do you need? You need a leader. And the leader, to start, has to define why that group of people should move in that direction. And it's their job to continually cast and cultivate the why of that behavior. That's where we come into, you know, in corporate America or organizations, we talk about vision statements, mission statements, values. Simon Sinek's famous YouTube, Start With Why. 
it's because if you don't start with that, then the people won't understand why they're going in the direction and naturally won't align around it. I'm going to use uh, the movie Saving Private Ryan as an example several times throughout this podcast. Now, Tom Hanks is the leader of this unit, and in typical Tom Hanks fashion, he's a pretty um, selfless, calm, collected, rational leader. And there is one part of the movie that I always liked. It always stays with me. So they're going across the countryside to find this Private Ryan. They spot a machine gun on top of the hill. And um, Tom Hanks, uh, what is his name? Oh, yeah, Captain John H. Miller. So Captain Miller, they spot the gun. He says, we have to attack that weapon. Now, they have to attack this weapon from an open field. So they're very vulnerable, um, high risk of casualties. And one of his men said, we, we're not, why should we attack that and risk our lives? Like, they don't see us, we can sneak by. That's not our mission. And Tom Hanks says, in very Tom Hanks voices, our mission is to win the war. I don't know if that was a good Tom Hanks or not, but that's what he said. Our mission is to win the war against the Germans, against communism, for freedom. He kept the why at the center. And I think a good leader always is ready to keep the why front and center, ready to fire at any given moment. But I think understanding why you do what you do and being able to fire off in a very clear burst why it is important what you're doing as a group together. So let me give you an example. So my agency, Congruent, call ourselves a connection agency. We're really, you know, creative brand strategy, marketing, um, fully integrated agency. So we do marketing. We make uh, videos. We produce things. We uh, hone in messaging and consult on strategy and demographics, all this stuff. But our core belief is that people actually just want to be connected, which is why we call ourselves a connection agency. Our belief, our why, is because that business is more meaningful when people connect on a human level. So in the midst of all the runaround of an agency, all the hustle and bustle, why are we doing, why are we wrestling through these problems? Why are we taking the path that's a little bit harder, but it's a little bit deeper as well? It's not shallow and cheap. Well, it's because we want things to be more meaningful. Business should be more meaningful to the company we're working for. It should be meaningful to one another and how we treat one another, how we cheer one another on. Just more meaningful when we're connected on a human level. So that is the why that drives a lot of what we do. Um, you know, Apple's why famously think different. Why do we make products like this? Why do we make them easy to use? Why do we spend so much time laboring over these little design elements? Well, because we think differently. And people that think differently believe that it should be easy to use and simple and clean and beautiful all at the same time. You know, the why doesn't have to be like, you know, kill the communists or fight the communists or defeat the communists. But the why has to be meaningful. And a good leader defines and aligns. We've talked about the three levels of unity before. Unity is what happens when you define and align. You become unified. And so the three levels are acceptance, agreement, finally, alignment. Acceptance is when you know, someone on the team says, okay, yes, I accept that we're going to do that because you're the boss you told me to. Okay. That's kind of compliance obedience. The next level agreement is not only do I accept it, but I also agree that it's the right way we should go. Okay. We're moving closer. Finally is alignment. Not only do I accept it, not only do I agree with it, but I also see it as my responsibility to make it so. A good leader defines and aligns people behind the things that are important because he's constantly, constantly beating the drum of why we're doing it. He's ready, he's locked and loaded at any time to keep it at the center. A good leader defines and aligns. Whatever you're leading, whoever you're leading, do you spend your time defining and aligning or do you spend your time yelling and mandating and driving instead of leading people forward? So that breaks it down as much as I can in the short time that we have together today. If you haven't already, go to claritycompressed.com and sign up for the weekly email um, so you can have a little bit of this in your inbox once a week. We don't put send out a lot of stuff to try to make it efficient for you. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope to see you here next week. Go lead. Yeah. 
Yeah.